Good morning, y'all, and welcome to our VNT News. I'm Rodrigo Rodriguez. Laredo kicks off with some Laredo kicks off fall with some rain. Many Laredo residents were in the, for rude awakening, literally, and that's be, because Mother Nature woke woke many up with some light, lightning and thunder. The rain started to pour into the South Texas area a little after midnight, bringing some strong winds, lightning, and the warring sounds of thunder. Video shows some flooded streets around town, some vehicles that were stalled due to rising waters, and some debris in the streets. Some, some vehicles that were stalled due to rising waters and some debris in the streets. Some roads had even had to be blocked off due to minor flooding. Another story, a weird one in fact, a European warehouse was found packed to the brim with a thousand of PS4s, which was originally discovered as and labeled as a cryptocurrency farm, but turned out to be a FIFA Ultimate Team bot farm. There was apparently 3,800 of these things in these warehouse, though, and it was found out that the point of this warehouse was actually to be farming coins for FIFA. Now, FIFA, they suck. It's a hustle to get in game, and esports does a lot to crack it down too. So, if you decide to take this route, no, it can result in you getting banned from the game. Just keep that in mind because there's more people that are doing this that this is a lucrative business endeavor. A man was arrested in a connection to burning bodies found in a dumpster not too long ago. Authorities say a man has confessed to killing three of those dismembered bodies were found in the burning dumpster in Texas, as well as his roommate and girlfriend saying he felt compelled to sacrifice them. The man, aka Jason Thunberg, was arrested on Monday on a capital murder charge and the deaths of the three people whose bodies were found in the dumpster on September 22. Fort Worth police say while questioning the 41-year-old Thunberg about those killings, he also admitted to killing his roommate in Texas and girlfriend in Arizona. Thunberg is being held on one million bond. Jail records do not list his attorney. Thousands of immigrants, thousands of migrants gather under a bridge in the, in the Rio, Texas. Officials say thousands of migrants have gathered under the bridge along the U.S. southern border. The mayor of the Rio states 5,600 migrants were waiting to be taken into custody under the Del Rio International Bridge. The bridge connects the Rio, Texas, and the Mexican city, Ciudad Acuna, according to Texas U.S. Customs and border protection, the bridge is being used as temporarily staging site because it is a shaded area. The Del Rio mayor has asked the Department of Homeland Security to step in to help. CBP says Border Patrol is sending more agents to assist with the Del Rio area. And over the Eagle Pass, Texas, the Office of Field Operations officers at the Eagle Pass Camino Rio cargo facility sees meth with a street value of over $24 million and, and one enforcement action. Although anti-terrorism is our primary mission, CBP officers continue to maintain their vigilance to ensure commercial entries are safe and free of contraband. As this narcotic seizure illustrates, said Port de Rico Paul, the Rincon Eagle Pass port of entry, the, enforce, the enforcement action occurred on Thursday, September 23 at the Camino Rail cargo facility when CBP officers assigned to the cargo facility encountered a 2010 Freightliner tractor hauling an empty box trailer arriving from Mexico. The tractor and trailer were referred for a canine, non-intrusive imagining system inspection and subs subsequent fiscal inspection, resulting in the discovery of 1,221 pounds of LA meth within the walls of the trailer. The narcotics have an instrument street value of $24,426,968. Make sure to stay tuned as we will be right back with the weather and more. Say hello to your new best friend, El Machador. He's finally here and he can pack a punch. Kick, backflip, front flip. He's our next generation. Hello, now our today's weather forecast. We have the 97 degrees with a 
90, with a 60% chance of it being rain. But we have high winds coming from southeast, 17 miles per hour. And now for our three days, we're, three days up ahead of us, we have the 94, uh, 94, 94 degrees and 73 degrees and a 40% chance of, of rain. And southeast, 15%, 15 miles per hour. And then on, on, on our next day, 92 degrees to 70 degrees, 30% of weather, 30% yeah. of rain. <laughs> Is nine, nine miles per hour. <laughs> 84 degrees, so. Resuming moments like these starts with protecting our kids against COVID-19 and dangerous new variants. Get the latest facts by visiting getvaccineanswers.org and speaking to your pediatrician or healthcare provider. With the changing of the seasons, a new chapter begins for our esports team, GX3, as the first of all women roster of Complexity Gaming, the new lead dubbed Complexity GX3, will continue its 20 year mission of inclusivity as part of a bigger esports family. Esports Insider sat down with GX3 founder and six time esports world champion Alice Lemister Liu, as well as Complexity Gaming COO Kyle Bastia, to learn more about the team's history and future plans. Nearly two, de two decades ago, Liu visited her local land cent centuries to compete in a Counter-Strike. There she realized how male-dominated the space was, which made it easier to find the only other two women competing. We connected almost right away because we were the only females in the space, but almost by, all, by sharing our own struggles amidst of toxicity, end quote. Liu told Esports Insider, and I quote, we thought it would be really cool to build a platform that gives other females a chance to play in a safe and encouraging environment, end quote. And thus GX3 Girls Got Game was born. Gears books on up as we got a handful of upcoming movies for this October. We got Venom Let There Be Carnage. That just released a few days ago. Watch it before the spoilers gets you. A 007 No Time to Die was released on the 8th of Halloween, on the 8th. And Halloween Kills, well, technically Halloween 3, if you caught up with your culture by now, set to release this Halloween month on the 15th and The Last Duel, then Dune on the 22, while Last Night and Sorrow on the 29th. Thank you for joining us this morning. We hope that you are with us next time here at VMT News. Have a great day.